If you've been tuning into my videos lately, you may have noticed my obsession with AI. I've actually been into AI since my university days where I took an AI class that became my favorite. In that class, we learned all about different AI algorithms and implemented our own, including one for playing chess at a high level. Now, ChatGPT and similar AIs have influenced me so much that I had to implement my own AI with machine learning. In this video, I'll show you how I trained an AI to walk like a human using reinforcement learning. That's right, I'm teaching machines how to walk. Who knows, maybe one day they'll teach us how to fly. After I got my environment set up, I decided to use Jupyter Lab, which is a nice user interface for easily configuring workflows and running code. It's used a lot in the machine learning field. I also used OpenAI's Jim, which is an open source Python library for developing and comparing reinforcement learning algorithms. Anyway, the first step was to pick an environment. I went with the bipedal walker, where the idea is to get the AI to go as far right as possible. I chose this one because it looked funny to me to see a machine flailing around so much. What you see here is the first algorithm that I implemented. It was just completely random, randomly bad. It basically does a random action in each step. If the AI failed or succeeded, it resets the environment. Pretty simple. Okay, the next step was to actually use a reinforcement learning algorithm. Reinforcement learning is basically giving the AI a reward for doing something right and a punishment for doing something wrong. In this case, the reward is for going right and the punishment is for going left. To implement this, I used the Stable Baselines open source library. Again, shout outs to the AI influencers at OpenAI for the original library. I tried some random algorithms out and the one I found to work the best was PPO, which stands for never mind. The code was straightforward, make the environment, vectorize the environment, use the PPO agent, and make it learn. At first I tried training with 1000 time steps. This was the result. Hmm, not good, but at least it learned to fall forward. Next I tried 10,000 time steps. It actually got worse. Funny how that can happen. Next I tried 100,000 time steps, and we can see it's already doing much better. It's actually able to walk and go forward, although it is a little slow. I think this is an acceptable result, but out of curiosity, I tried 1 million time steps, which took a while to train actually. And we can see this one is by far the best. It's actually going pretty quickly and it actually reaches the very end. Not bad for less than 10 lines of code. To be honest, setting up the environment and figuring out how to use everything together was tough but I learned a lot in the process. The next step would be for me to learn more in depth about how the algorithms work and perhaps even implement them, or maybe try to solve a more difficult environment. Subscribe and like the video for more and leave a comment about your experience with AI. See you next time.